Now, even as quick commerce companies take the fight to e-commerce firms, retail industry lobby is up in arms. An industry association has written to the government alleging violation of antitrust rules. The sources say the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade has forwarded the complaint to the Competition Commission of India. We're now joined by Dherishil Patil, the national president of the All India Consumer Products Distributor Federation. We also have with us Samir Gandhi, co-founder Axiom Law Chambers. Thank you very much for joining us, gentlemen. Uh, Dherishil Patil, if I were to ask you first, give us a sense of what has been your complaint to Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal and the DPIT, and do you also want to directly approach the CCI as well? Yes, thank you. See, our complaint to Honorable Minister was that the for quick commerce, dark stores are been put up. And this clearly shows this unless and until there is inventory in hand, you cannot deliver in 10 to 15 minutes. So, Inventory-based e-commerce is not uh, applicable in India under the FBI rules. So how is that the inventory has been controlled by these quick commerce companies? This is the first thing. Right. So you... Uh, okay. Yeah. But what is uh, the allegation according to which uh, they violate the CCI rules, uh, Mr. Patil? See, uh, in, uh, according to e-commerce uh, press note two, uh, inventory based, based e-commerce isn't uh, isn't permitted in, in India. So, uh, uh, in dark stores, they are carrying inventory and they are controlling inventory. That is the basic complaint what we have given. Okay, let me. Uh... Also go across to Samir Gandhi at this point. Samir, uh, now there is a complaint which has been forwarded, referred to the Competition Commission of India. Now, as per the rules and regulations, the law of the land, does this, such a complaint come within the ambit of the CCI? Uh, does the size of these firms, which are small in size, uh, can they actually be investigated by the Competition Commission? Thanks, Parikshit. Um, and, and, and it's an, an excellent question. I think with uh, the advent of e-commerce more generally and now with quick commerce, I think what has happened is that there has been a tremendous disruption uh, in the way that, you know, uh, consumers are able to access products. I think it's left uh, lots of uh, consumers extraordinarily happy that they are now able to, you know, buy from the convenience of their homes and uh, buy it at competitive prices, so on and so forth. So I think one has to acknowledge that, you know, with e-commerce and now quick commerce, uh, it's really, you know, customer experiences and, and, and choices have, have really benefited tremendously. Having said that, the Competition Commission is empowered to look at whether uh, business practices can impact conditions of competition in the market. Uh, now, I'm, you know, conscious of what Mr. Patak just said, and I'm equally conscious that, you know, competition rules are not uh, the, the catch-all for addressing all sorts of problems, including potentially violation of, you know, FDI requirements, if there are such violations. Uh, the competition rules are very clearly to uh, address, you know, either uh, vertical restraints or cartels or abuse of dominance. And there I would think, at least from the little that I know of this sector, that uh, the quick commerce companies are, uh, you know, there is a new one coming up almost every second day. Uh, as you know, the earlier uh, piece on your own program seemed to indicate it's it's a highly competitive sector, uh, and and consumers will probably be you know uh, laughing all the way to uh, their stores. So I actually see this as being good for competition. I see this being a competition on the merits. I see uh, prices uh, not going uh, up but actually coming down. So I think this is this is good for uh, for for competition more broadly. Can the commission look into it? Uh, I think if it is indeed an abuse of uh, a position of market dominance, which does require a company to be of a certain size and uh, standing in the market, Parikshit, but uh, I think it's too early in the day. I think one has to acknowledge that the innovation that comes from, uh, you know, the introduction of e-commerce and quick commerce in India is, is certainly something that all of us benefit from. And I'm sure that's something that the Competition Commission will keep in mind. All right. Uh, Dharishil Patil, uh, Samir Gandhi, thank you very much for joining us here on the program.